Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make Roblox clothing with with premium and without premium. So basically guys, as you can see, I have made some clothing for this group, pa Feathers Pandas, which I leave in all it, leave a link in the description in almost every video I do. So before I do this video, make sure to pause it and join this. It's in the description. Just click on the link and you're there. So as you can see, um, I'm gonna start now. So some sometimes you you can make clothing without premium, and sometimes you can do it with premium. Except without premium, you can only make T-shirts like this, but you can't sell it like I have. So I'm gonna first show you guys how to make T-shirts without with, to those who don't have premium. So the first thing you want to do is go on the website pixelr.com and the X thing, um, let me just go on the pixelr, it's p-i-x-l-r dot com and then when you enter that website, just click on the playful pixelr and that's the, you're there. Now, uh, oh my god, there's so many ads here, that's the one thing when you don't buy premium here. I, I have never bought premium here. But that's okay. Now, if you want to make premium, I mean, if you want to make a t-shirt, you have to click on the create new. And as you can see, there are some sizes. I actually forgot which size, but I would re recommend to use like a big size. I think it's supposed to be square or something because earlier I did a full HD and that went horrible. Um, so I actually think I'm going to try this web one really quick now as you can see this is probably like you don't really get how to do everything but don't worry with practice you'll get it and then as you can see there's buttons here this button which i don't use arrange crop we're not cropping right now but the one thing if you're making a t-shirt is the text and you add a new text and then you delete these words and then you'll add something what i'm gonna do i'm actually just going to make a panda emoji copy and paste thing oops like that that's all i'm going to do uh, and then you add your text you can also add things like feather shipper whatever but i'm today i'm just going to add a simple emoji now with this you can also if you're using words like feather you can make fonts like this or something like this this i like this one but i never really use it because it's a really thin one but yeah that's what you do and you can even choose a color for it you can make it pink purple, blue, any color you want, basically. I recommend to use light colors uh, because, well, yeah, it has to be light. And then you can also make this size really big. Oh my God, that's so big. <laughs> and you can, you can like, re like <laughs> I I'm gonna say like all the time, guys. And basically, yeah, you can make the size, font, and color, or you could just copy and paste emoji or a symbol or something. This is what I'm doing. I think this is really big, but yeah, this is all you have to do. And make sure this is PNG, guys. Because if it's not PNG, then your t-shirt is gonna go bad. And then you click download. It's downloading and it took five seconds or four. But if you don't wanna do this, then you can just get a random image from somewhere like for example if i went to google and then i just researched image like let's just use a plant image or something and then we can download one of these images and you can make this a t-shirt but i don't really like these because i mean if you go on the avatar shops and then you find t-shirts uh, you can see people have just used images. Let's go on clothing, t-shirts, ah. and as you can see, people have only, like, this one. Um, I know this is real expensive. I'm not going to buy it because I don't even have Robux right now. But as you can see, they only used 
a simple image. It's useless. Anyone can make this. But by the way, if you don't have premium, you can't sell your t-shirt. So it's going to be really hard. Whereas you can tell people have only gotten images and all. So it's not that good. So I don't recommend to just get an image. I recommend to just make like something like this. This can look like an image, but it's not. Okay, but if you want to do it, now you click create. Ah, and you click create. And now you go down and click t-shirts right over here. And then you choose the file. Now this is my file, I think. And then you name it. I'm just gonna click test. And now let's upload. Now it could take a little while for it to upload. But anyways, now you have it in your avatar thing. Now, um, this is, I tried to upload earlier, but it didn't work. So anyways, don't put any tops on or anything. Uh, just uh, make sure you're wearing pants. <laughs> and then uh, you have to, let me just say I'm wearing uh, this right now. Now, and I don't want this. Uh, all I have to go is put on a different pants. And oh my gosh, I don't have a shirt right now. <laughs> but anyways, uh, you go on the body and skin tone. Then you go down and advanced. Now you click torso. And then click any uh, color you want. I'm going to uh, choose purple. That's also, by the way, that's how you can um, get... Uh, oh my gosh, I don't even know how to say it. That's how you kind of make a shirt for free, kind of, by yourself. And then you have to, uh, then you put on your t-shirt. So let's just test this part out. It might be really small or really big. That's what I meant earlier. As you can see, I it might be still uh, uploading or loading, but that's how you do it. If you're still wondering about its size, uh, there should be a video on it. But anyways, I also have another shirt I have over here that worked er the uh, when I before I actually made clothing and right now I need to change the color because actually maybe I don't as you can see it's the perfect color it you could see your name there and that's how you do that part now I'm going to be now if you don't have premium right now then you don't have to watch the video anymore because I'm going to show how to make clothing with premium now with premium you can make shirts and pants but with Without it, you can only make t-shirts like I showed before. And so now I, now for the rest of the video, I'm going to show whatever I'm going to show you actually need premium. Um, if you don't know, I just bought premium and I'm actually really happy. Now, premium isn't really that expensive. It's just a, um, it's up to it's five to twenty dollars per month. I'm only using the five dollar to make it cheap and easy to like get. And now you still ha can ha use the pixel art. I'm going to go back home. And now you have to click. Oh, um, now the one thing you need to do is click find a template. I'm going to go on Google. And then I'm going to search Roblox uh, shirt template. And you're going to find images. Now this image is the perfect one you need if you're making shirts. I already have this downloaded, but make sure you save this to your files. And then, and now you go on pixel art and click open image and then click on that. I made, I, uh, I can't click on it. And now open as it, oh, create new. And this is the one. And, and now all you have to do is add a lot of things. Now, if you want a detailed shirt, I don't, really know how to show you that but if you want that like for example if they get a flower a uh, background or something like this then oh if i make a shirt like a lot like this i just do the copy image and do control v a lot and shape it a lot like this and then i keep on doing that i don't really like doing that because you have to get a lot of a lot a lot of layers but anyways, that's the part on how you do it. Oh my god, I don't want that layer. You, if you don't want that layer, just backspace it. Now, as you can see on what I have ma been making so far, 
Um, like, for example, this is detailed as straps. Um, also, it's it just really simple colors with emojis or just a little bit of decoration on them. Like, I even have a Gap shirt. Even though it's not bright, it still has Gap. Those. And now for here, you have to click on the on the adding part this one that's on the like on here right bottom corner and click the add button and just click empty because that's it it means a uh, late you're adding layers because you really need this part unless your shirt or else your shirt is not going to go well now if you want just a really plain shirt uh click on this drawing part and as you can see, I have a lot of things, but but I'm right now I'm on brush tool. Brush tool, a brush tool is not bad because this is what's gonna happen. I mean, it's not gonna erase, but that's but it looks like I'm erasing because this is a white color that I have right now. So over here, you can see you have eraser tools, and you have this pen tool and the one thing you want to go on is the shape tool and as you can see you have different shapes now right now you're going to stay on this square and now right now you're going to click on a green now right now i'm planning to make like a purple shirt so i'm going to choose this pur light purple um color and now i'm just going to as you can see i'm just moving this around and if you don't like what you just did, you can always click undo. That's on the bottom of your screen. And by the way, you can see there's like little dotted lines on here. Those um, like over here on this top part, don't go on there because that's what's going to cover, like that's going to cover your pants and that's not good. So you just have, if you want to make like a little top, go like you have to go like this or you could make a regular t-shirt just a little bit over that line and that's the one part and now for the sleeves it's on the bottom here um now if you want a short sleeve you just do this or if you want longer sleeves which i like i like longer sleeves since it's always cold now now that and don't go over these lines because that's the hand part unless you want to cover your hand and by the way guys i think you could do the rest on yourselves but actually i'm just still going to show you and if you if you don't want to if you want to skip this part uh you're not going to really learn the other parts but if you want uh all these signs as you can see is just like r front l back and L and all these letters you can see them from here like front here right like that that's how you do it now i'm just going to do this super quick show you guys how to make a simple shirt it's actually really fast now that i practice for a while now if you want to show your shoulders i always just make straps here I like making the straps. I think they're really cute. But if you want, if you don't want to, you just cover this whole thing, this whole part, and this part. But if, but if you want room for your neck, click on the eraser tool, and then like make some space up on your neck. I don't like doing this part because it's like always like uneasy. So I never do that. I just make straps and all. I always make, uh, have you show your shoulders. Oh no, I have lost a color. Ah, uh, that's okay. I'm just gonna use this light color. It, this just to show you guys. Oh, that strap is bad. <laughs> like that. That's good. Now, if you want decoration or you want to keep this like this, you're done. Now, if you want decoration, uh, go on the text just down below and click add new text this is going to make you a new layer of text and delete this text part and now i'm just going to make the size small now all you're going to do is going to add like some wording what i do i just add an emoji let's just have a swan emoji or an animal i like using a swan and i control c and control v and there now you can make it smaller or bigger and you can move it over here so that's going to be in the front of the shirt 
now that I have done that, uh, this is the whole entire thing. This is what everything should look like. Now, uh, what you have to do, as you can see on your right side, we have these layers where we choose these. Now, go on the first layer that has the image of the template and you click backspace. Now, you want to do that because if you don't, then this whole entire template shirt thing is going to be on your shirt and that's going to be bad. So, unless you don't want that, you just have to click backspace and that's what you do. And now you click save. And make sure it's PNG, and you click download. Now this should be in your files. Four, three, two, one. And now you do this. Uh, now you click create, and you click on shirt. Oh, uh, <laughs> and that's what you do. Now choose file. Click on this, and let's just click test again, and upload. Now, and if you want to put it up for sale, you just click on these settings thing and put configure and click sales and turn it on for sale. Choose the price. You can't go more below than five, but um, I'm not going to put this up for sale because this is just a test for you guys. So what and it actually takes like five to ten minutes to load in. And when you try putting it on, it's first going to look like you don't have a shirt. Um, but I promise it's going to show up on it. Now, let's just, uh, I'm going to show you it to you guys. So let's just go on an obby really quick, um, to show you what it looks like. Um, and as you can see, I have the shirt. Oh my gosh, my t-shirt is still on. But as you can see, the shirt is on overall. If I didn't delete that layer part, the uh, that would the blue would show on here. So that's how you make a t-shirt. Now we are going to do pants. Now pants is my least favorite thing to make. I don't really know why, but I just don't really like making it. Maybe it's because it had the wrong template. Because when I go on a template for that, like pants, Roblox, template. Now the only thing, oh, because as you can see, it only shows the shirt template with, like that. So the only thing, it only shows this. It's going to be just like the same. It's going to be the same thing overall. So actually, I actually don't mind using this one now that I realize. And except this is going to be the pants. And you, can, and you can't really make t-shirts and sleeves. You can only make crop top. Like if I go here and click avatar shop. And I find like crop top, which I am never gonna wear stuff like that. Oh, we have to go into clothing, <laughs> shirts. Oh, pants. As you can see, they have outfits like this, and you can tell you that you have nothing on the sleeves. That's because they are only using pants. And also, like you like remember with the template, it had the line. That's why it has pants like this, at, like by this tiger. This is what it's going to be like, sleeveless. Now, um, you have to save this image, the same image, and then you do the open image. I'm going to use a shirt uh, template now that I realize I could use it uh, for pants. And like, um, now, as you, I'm going to pause the video because uh, you guys should already know how to do it right now but if you want like denim stuff i'll show you after i make like simple colored pants okay just realize that i can't i have to show you guys or else you won't know now with the pants if i use the shirt template like i am right now it's not gonna look like this you just now if you want pants these sleeve parts are actually gonna turn out into what's gonna be on your legs and then this part is going to be your um shirt so right now but right now let's show you how to make the pants now you just now let's just make simple pink pants go like this and you can make sh uh, shoes if you want i always make my shoes black or white or something 
And if you're making shoes, make sure it's on the bottom. And with pants, you have to do this top part or else it's going to look weird without it. And now that's how you make the pants. And then, oh my gosh, I totally forgot. I have to add the empty layer. This is one thing that happens. You're always going to forget to add the empty layer. Now let's make the shoes and the all of that back to pink. Put it up there like that. There we go. Now, if I want to make a top, which I actually kind of do since I've never made one, I'm just going to do like I did last time. I want to try making what I want. To, I wonder what a crop top is supposed to look like. Um, let's just make this whole entire outfit like pink, and then the straps like that. Now it's that easy. And again, you delete that part, save it, download PNG. Now, but except when you click create, you have to go on the pants. And now I choose the file, this one. And now I'm just gonna click test again. And there you go. Now I should find on my avatar. It's probably not gonna look the best, but because I have been really quick. Now, okay, redraw. Let's wait. Oh, not the shirt, not the shirt. It takes like a little bit of seconds. And yeah, as you can see, I have the shirt, the pants, it looks really nice really easy it's good it's all good now if you want this more detailed like denim pants let's just go on that uh open image i'm gonna go on the shirt template again oh shirt template and if you want that then you have to if you want denim pants like for example this they have denim 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 you have to click uh denim uh jeans fabric and as you can see we have fabric i always use this now copy image and you click Control v and as you can see and now you have to go on this or arrange part and you can size it i don't really like doing this copy and paste thing because i can't size it all the time i have to put it here and i have to continue to do that until the end is done and you can also make your shoes so that's how you do that part so anyway guys this might be the end of the video i hope you enjoyed i did and right now i feel like i'm losing my voice because I'm like talking a lot and seem like a lot. So yeah. Um, I hope you enjoyed. I really just <laughs> um, enjoyed this. If you want, you can make. No. Oh, I can't do this part because it looks like I'm naked. <laughs> um, but anyways, guys, that's the end of the video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Uh, and make sure to hit that like button. I mean. <laughs> Make sure to hit that like button and the subscribe button with the notification bell so you never miss any of my videos. And that's the end of the video. Bye!